Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss uh, how do we uh, make log files in Stata, right? So there are different options with log files. We can make it in text or uh, etc. And what log would do is, as the name suggests, it uh, would uh, save anything uh, that would appear on this output window in a text format, right? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the log. Uh, we can uh, either start the log by clicking on file, uh, then log and begin. Uh, or we can obviously pause or resume or close it using the same menu. But uh, I would prefer using uh, code because uh, the reason is that when you are working with do files, you might always want to have a log file generated and uh, that we're working with uh, code of log, generation of log and closing of log, etc. would be more useful rather than menus. <clears throat> okay, so how do we initiate log? We write log command, uh, then the word using, then the name of the file that we want it to be saved into. Uh, so this is the, the syntax of the log file. Uh, so if so, so what I want is I want um, to make a log of whatever is written in the uh, in the output window and save it in a file called log example of one. You can give any name that you want. So it would give me an idea of uh, uh, the log had been initiated, what it is name, uh, where the log is saved, uh, right? And what is the log file, its uh, date and time that log was opened. <clears throat> so it would save both input, outputs, comments, or mistakes that had been made. So let's import some data. Uh, so I've imported SSUs data, which uh, have auto data. Let me summarize price, MPG, and weight. So this is the summary. Then let's regress price on certain variables. Let, let's also drop if price is less than 10,000. And lastly, what we do is when we have uh, then all the commands that we wanted to perform, what we can do is we can close the log. And what it would do, it would save that log file. So the command is simple, log close, and that would close the log. We do not need to write any name of the log uh, that we are closing, just log close. And let me uh, take you towards the, uh, the folder where the log is saved. So you would see that this is the log example one file. Its extension is SMCL, which stands for uh, Strata Markup and Control Language, right? So uh, we can open this log within Strata. So this is how the log will appear. Remember, uh, it would uh, give all the information that we had when we started the log, the, the file location, the type of log, the time that we started this log. And then whatever command we performed, we performed sysuse auto, then we did summarize because we are running it from the do file. So it is giving us this do, etc. thing. Uh, then it would give us the output of the summarize file. Then we did regression. It gave us the command and then the output of the regression. Then we dropped certain values and it showed us that the 10 observations were dropped. And then we closed the lag, uh, log. Uh, at this specific time. So this is the log and uh, what it is doing is it is simply capturing whatever appeared in the output window. So let me close this log. Okay, so let's clear uh, everything that we have over here. Uh, so I can demonstrate one more thing. So uh, we already have this log file, right? If we were to create another log by the same name as we did previously, uh, then it would give us an error. So let me use this. Uh, so it is saying that file log already exists. So for that, we can use the replace option. So if I was to use the replace option, then it would generate a new log and I can perform certain commands and close the log. Uh, okay, so we do not have uh, the spelling of length variable are incorrect in GTH. So summarize and then we close the log and we get uh, another file that would have this. 
so you can see that this is the log file that was created it replaced the previous log file and it also uh, uh, you know records the error that appeared in the output window so it is just the uh, whatever appears in the output window it would uh, record it with itself okay what if we wanted to to uh, we already have a log file this log example one but instead of replacing the log file we want to perform certain more operation the other day let's see we did this uh, on some uh, date and then we want to perform some other operation on another day and we want to append the log in the previous file so instead of replacing it we would use the append option so let's uh, log using append uh, so it would tell stata that we want to append rather than replace let's summarize and let's close the log and let me show it uh, so this was the old log and then we closed the log over here right and then we again started another log with the log append command and which is summarize of mpg price we close the log so this is what append would be. okay uh, remember that we would have to close the previous log uh, before we can even open another log so let's just say we we started this log right and then we want to start log example 2 it would give us an error because the log file is already open so we would first have to close we would do log close and then we can open this another log and then we can apply certain commands and then close this log so we would have to close the previous log to start another log we now in these all these cases we uh, we, uh, we the status saved the log file in smcl format uh, and this smcl format can be opened in uh, stata so let's just say you are working with a co-author and uh, they do not have stata or not familiar with stata so what you would want is you would want these log to be saved in a text file so this is where the text option comes in so after comma uh, we use just the text and that would a save a log in the text file so let me execute all these three commands so we start log using log text this is the file name text option so that save in the text format we do summarize and then we close the log okay so let me show you how this would appear it would appear in the uh, text file remember its extension is dot log but uh, all the data would be the uh, in the text format so you wouldn't need stata to re reopen these log files right okay uh, lastly uh, again we have uh, one more option which is called no message no msg and what it do is uh, you saw there was a weird uh, starting and ending message like these and what it, this no message would do it would it would not log these messages so let me just execute this let me open the log file so i did this in text format and you can see there is no log uh, uh, details that were there in the previous uh, uh, previous files that we did so this is with the no msg uh, option and this is without no msg options you can do this with uh, with either format either the text or smcl format and you can also pause uh, uh, like uh, the log so let's just say you wanted to perform certain command and you you didn't wanted that to appear in log so what you would do is you would do log off and if you wanted to reopen log then you would do log on okay <clears throat> so to demonstrate this let me clear all uh, and let's start a new log log example 3 uh, I'm just using replace although there is no log example 3 file already created and I'm using no message so let me run sys auto and let's log off so I do not want summarize to appear in the log and the describe command I also do not want these two commands to appear in log or the output to appear in log so I have done log off and then I can re resume log let's run regression this is what i want it to appear in log file let's close log and let me show you the log this is a log example 3 you can see that i did no msg so i do not have the starting headers uh, i did log off so i do not get the summarize and the describe command then i switched on the log uh, to get regression and then we close the log so log off and log on is sort of pause and resume of the log 
so that's all related to log uh, do subscribe to this channel and if you have any query uh, related to any aspect of data uh, do uh, do ask your question in the comment box below